Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, man. I'm in the building, man, with my guy, Al D300, who done took over my show, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he done took over the show, man. He yeah. said he was going to come through for me. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Man, you know how we do it, man. I wouldn't miss it for the world. We got the big homie up here, and we're going to do it how we do it. Hey, man, say, man, we got a special guest, man, all the way from L.A.? L.A., Watts, man. California. Watts, California, man. Hey, man, Nino Cappuccino's in the building. It's a pleasure, boss, man. It's a pleasure, man. Man, I really, I really see B.J. the Bounty Hunter. What is, I, who the hell is this, man? I mean, I can't, you got to tell me what's going on, because that's what I, I had on the fly at first. Right, right, right. Right? We took that off. Right, right. Cause we seen it on, I, I actually seen you tagged in with the young guy that we interviewed earlier. Uh, Young Supreme? No, it wasn't Supreme. The 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 boxing guy, the guy that uh, the, it, oh, I don't Trent, even, yeah, Trent. yeah, you was on a page and I clicked on that. I said Nino Cappuccino, who the hell is? You know, because I'm green. I'm I, I'm looking at all the the, the split interviews and all the stuff with with say B J the Bounty Hunter. Right, right. So how did it change? It? And what's up? Just, just let well, me know it, who you <clears> are. <throat> just to just to break that down. Um, Double OG Bunny Hunter BJ is a characteristic that was really built in reality. This ain't no internet character. Like a lot of these characters on the internet is just watered down characteristics they have built for within themselves for us, a marketing standpoint to better get money and make these pages monetized, which is smart. And you can't knock it for that. So it's characteristic. So that's why a lot of dudes is misunderstood and misconstrued in the business of this level for the digital aspect, this world we in now, because they don't understand its characters. Yeah. However, it just so happened I entered this digital world with a real life life character, as well as a lot of other real G's that's on the internet who come from that life, that walk of life, used to be these certain characters. So my character was Double OG Bunny Hunter BJ, which was a character that was really built within myself when I was doing my thing for 29 and a half, almost 30 active years, active duty years, should I say, to these streets, devoted to my neighborhood, Nixon Gardens. Salute. Man, so Nixon Garden, man, you know, I had a, and I guess right into it, I had a, a viral moment here a few weeks ago. Uh, where uh, it was Charleston White, Melvin Farmer, and Atola Marv was on on the show, mm. and um, you know some things were said, some back and forths, mm -hmm. and once that happened, boom, you know it all just fell. I felt like I was I was right on the Breakfast Club. I, I put this out too, and Baby walked in and say, "Put some respect on my name," and then yeah. they say, "Are you finished or is you done?" and walked out. There. And that's how the, I would have thought that intensity would have been the way that happened that day. Mm -hmm. But at any rate. Um, California, I got love for California. You know what I mean? I'm an interviewer, right? I interview people. And it was a lot of backlash, like people, you know, a lot of DMs, a lot of stuff being said, like, man, you didn't let this person talk. Or you Did you see my interview? Yeah, I seen it, man. Okay. Of course I seen okay. it. Okay, everybody done seen it. I mean, I, I didn't but see it. But I'm glad you came on I, the show because it helps me, to be yeah, honest I, with I, you. I, I, didn't see it. I didn't see it from everybody else's standpoint because yeah. everybody, not me. See, me... For one, I chose to place myself in this position and on these platforms in this walk of life for a reason. Not no motherfucking play play, excuse my French, but not no play play. This is business. This ain't some, oh, oh I'm personal, I'm in my feelings shit. So you have to have a clear understanding of what you're dealing with when you come on these platforms. I open the doors up for people to be opinionated about their opinions. This is an opinion. I don't mean you deserve that opinion or your opinion is right. It's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Because I know who I am at the end of the day. I know what I've done, what I've accomplished, what I've done neg negatively as well as positively in my life. So I don't need some stranger that's in your mama basement on her Wi-Fi bill trying to tell me or struck my life. You know I, get it. I get it. It makes I, it sense. Don't make it, I don't care. I, I so, feel where you're coming from. So, so first and foremost, I, I want to, you know, reinnovate on what you just said. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I watched it based on research. Yeah. So I, I'm coming from a whole different mind frame of it. I watched it based on research. I watched it A1, A target number enemy number one, as the internet want to put it. It's the Charleston White, A.K. Charlie White. I gave him that second handle because that's what his name It's out of respect, Charlie White. Charlie White, let me break it down for TV land so they know right now why I gave him this new handle. And he responds from it from me. And soon he will respond from, from the rest of the world too as well because he had a dynamic understanding of how I broke the shit down because he knew. 
it was the truth, just like he'd been telling the people the truth. Charlie White is that activist. Charlie White is that nigga who went in there and knocked down doors and cussed the white folks out and got at these political people based on these grants and the money aspect of where why this money ain't trickling down into these communities, these black communities. Yeah. That's really what Charlie White did, my nigga. Now, Charleston White, I wouldn't give a fuck about Charleston White. And I told that nigga that. I don't give a fuck about Charleston White. Charlie, I respect the shit out to you, Charlie. And you know what? Shout out to my boy Charleston, AK Charlie White. Me and Charlie end up building a mental, off top, understanding of respect. Because that's the first thing I told him. I ain't none of them dudes. Shout out to Marvin, the big homie Marvin. Shout out to Melvin. 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 Yeah. Shout out to... Um, I told him all. Yeah, I told that's him all. Said. That's my big homie from Baru. Shout yeah, out okay. to Melvin. You know what I mean? Shout uh, out to them cats, uh, man, the brothers. Uh, uh, the other other guy, too, uh, that he had, Mob James. Mob they, James, they had a, yeah. they, All this stimulated behind uh, different things that counteracted. But, and, but and I'm going to finna tip you something. That's why I'm trying to say it's, it's, it's shocking. Yeah. Because now, as, as, as I... I I, said, I told myself, I said, first and foremost, um, let me just take you back how I got introduced to Charlie. Big Split, Unc Split, you know me, behind me, you know, that's my business partner slash producer, that's a big Unc. We even in class and we bought in the game something different. Split D media. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. A1, I went to film school, I graduated, I put myself through film school, I graduated top of my class with master degree. Coming out of Nick's Garden as a known body, and I did what niggas can't do, what they think is impossible, so I did it, I led by example. And when I told my homies I was gonna do this 15, 20 years ago, damn near, they thought I was crazy. Instead of taking my, my dirty money and keep doing what they was doing, doing, I done had all the baddest material shit, cars, fun. I done did it, bro. So I said, man, I, I got a vision, which I should have I should have been this way, a long time ago, but since the streets got me, okay, that's the past. I left that behind me. This is why the character Bonnie Hunter BJ was retired. Okay. He was buried. The internet brought him back to life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.